Hey, uh, Shalom, I'm giving all praises unto Yahweh, Hashim, Yahweh, Hashim, Koa, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles of great millstone. And honor to your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So I'm the Baba Ibadi, I'm coming out here to give you this truth for the grace, grace and mercy of Yahweh, Hashim, Yahweh, Hashim, Koa, Kodash. Uh, giving all praises unto Yahweh, Hashim, Yahweh, Hashim, Koa, Kodash. It's going to be a very simple lesson, very quick lesson, maybe about five minutes, if that. And the uh, um, purpose of this lesson is... um. Putting you into remembrance of how this whole thing is going to end up. And when we look at scriptures like the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter on the 7th verse, where we read about the time of Jacob's trouble. Also to the book of Ecclesiastes, where it speaks about how the grinding was going to cease, mainly to say the, the work was going to cease. And ultimately, how that there ain't going to be work out here. Now you guys, you're seeing all of these different businesses now. They are struggling and they're going to start struggling even more. When you hear the increased talk of... um inflation uh supply shortages and and so on and so forth so many different is issues and catastrophes that esau has basically set up and when we look at the impact of the so-called vid we see a situation where the so-called lockdowns that they had they really didn't have no impact i believe a brother he had posted this within the chat and brothers would have basically seen it across the uh, globe but the uh, mainstream media, pretty much, they didn't pick up pick up on that study. Um, but if you had seen um, on, on the Guardian out here within the UK and um, many other different outstreams where it was re um, recent out there, so to speak, reissued, reshared. That's the word I'm looking for. They basically told you straight up: look, the the, the, the outcome of these lockdowns that you had, they, they didn't have no outcome on on the actual vid, but you had a massive impact on business. You had a massive impact on business. And that was the objective. That was always the objective, right? When you're talking about the, the Great Reset, you're talking about all of these different scenarios that are going to be played out within the earth to the end that the financial system is going to be changed into a digital financial system. You're seeing all of these different countries come out with their so-called um, uh, digital currencies. You're going to come to the conclusion that pretty much um, you're going to have a new way of, of doing things. And we read from the scriptures, the book of Revelations, the 13th chapter, and we see that that's what Esau wants to bring forth within the earth. A, a new way a new way of doing things, an order that is new, right? Some some might call it a new, and the word world, an order. Okay, that's, that's what Esau is getting ready to bring out here within the world. And as a direct consequence of that, hey, this economy, that's going to have to get basically burnt up. So you hear it is you have businesses, you hear it is you had small businesses, medium-sized businesses, and large businesses. All of these are different uh, infrastructures had a um had some sort of uh, uh, something to gain in the you know so-called old world, but in the new world, there's only gonna be what robots and and a handful of individuals that they you know they created this new term, right? These so-called essential workers. So when you when you realize that, and you realize really for the most part, most people ain't gonna be be working. In what Esau is getting ready to set up within the world, right? Most people are gonna be just slaves, but you ain't gonna be working like you're working now to so-called go out there in a capitalist uh, environment. Really, you're just gonna be meandering in the in the universe. Notwithstanding, Esau wants to reduce the population of the world, of which you know financial sanctions and um, financial burdens is a means of doing that. But the reality of the situation is that a lot of people are gonna lose out. A lot of people are going to lose money. A lot of people are going to lose businesses. A lot of people are going to lose homes. A lot of people are going to lose families when Esau's getting ready, or which he's already started. Already, a lot, a lot of people are already feeling the impact of um, Esau's movement towards setting up his um his NWO. A lot of people are already feeling that pinch, right? If you was working in particular countries and you was working in the, in the service sector, I believe out there within New York, they still got the the the, the mandate. If you was working in those particular sectors. The so-called public sectors, then you would have had to you would have had to choose between your job or choose to bow down before the image of the beast. And if you choose not to bow down before the image of the beast, well, guess what? You're, you're out of work. You're, you're in good graces with the heavenly Father. That's the good thing. But you're in this world. You're out of work, right? And that brings me neatly back onto my point, which is which is which is what. Simply put, the less you have, okay, the easier it's gonna be. The less you have within this world, the easier it's going to be. If you've got a family, okay, you've got to roof your family. But if you don't have a family, well, Scripture says you don't really try, be trying to, you know, trying to go out there, man. And <laughs> trying to set that up. Here it is, you're going to have this family, be in love with your children, love with your wife. And then when the, when the missiles come, who's to say those, those children are going to make it on a chariot? That, they're not guaranteed. 
You don't know who these individuals are. A lot of these, indiv a lot of these women, you get around them, hey, they'll be around you. They'll, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be. It'll be all good, right? I'm, I'm right up until the point when things start to take a, a, a nose dive in a different direction. Here it is. You might have so-called riches of this world, a nice car, and a nice place to live. But let's say you lose that, and the Mosai could put you in a situation like that. The Mosai doesn't have to have you have a nice job. Scripture talks about daily bread. The, the most I can set it up to where you don't have a so-called nice job or so-called nice car. The most I can have it to where you're just right. <clears throat> and guess what? Women ain't really feeling just right. Women are, we, women are attracted to riches. So let's say you you get you get you have a, a, a four years of doing really well, and the most I was gonna have you have four years of, of being content. Well, guess what? You got a woman. She's gonna be looking to to step out unless it's like a real woman that the most I sent for you. And again, like I said. The more you have within this society, the more you're going to lose, man. The more you have within this society, the more you try to build yourself up within this society, within this truth, the more you put yourself at exposure for losing. The scripture talks about how we ain't supposed to be looking back like lost, lost wife. You're supposed to be looking about, back at, the, at this shit hole of kingdom. You're supposed to be looking forward to the kingdom of the heavenly father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahshai, Hashem, God, HaKadosh, is going to set up within the earth. In which all of these so-called goodies, right, the things that are pleasing to the flesh, yeah, they're pleasing to the flesh, but it's BS because... Within the kingdom of the heavenly father, you're going to have an abundance of that. So i got one scripture here. I mean, we could have gone into a whole bunch of scriptures, but i got one scripture here prepared, right? Which is this one, the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, right? And let's start here on, on the 19th verse, Matthew 6 and 19. It says, lay not up your, for yourselves treasures upon the earth where moth and doth, rust doth corrupt, which I'll, I'll add to that. Well, not add to that, I'll, I'll precept that, right? Because you ain't supposed to be adding to the scriptures, but I'll precept that. With, with the precepts regarding this kingdom being destroyed by way of the ICBM nuclear missile. So here it is, Moff is going to get to it, Ross is going to get to it, but also too, the car that you got, the most size is going to melt that with the ICBMs. You better believe that. You're going to buy a 70 inch TV screen, the most size is going to melt that. All right, so these treasures, these so called worldly pleasures that you have out here within this world that Esau allows you to have, of which you're going to lose all of that. You better believe you're going to lose all of that. But they're already speaking about energy shortages. They're already speaking about gas gas prices going up through the roof. You think you're going to be able to put gas in your car? You're going to buy a, a 3 Series, you know, 5 Series BMW, 7 Series BMW. W what if they, they ain't no gasoline anymore? What if Esau removes that from being an option? You already see that he, he's switching stuff up. Okay? You buy a nice house. Look, look at the energy prices. Out here within the UK, energy prices are going up by, by double, by April. Double. Period, point blank, double, that's it. You're you either going to pay it or you ain't going to pay it. <laughs> you're either going to pay it or you ain't going to pay it. Unless you have a, you have some wood you could burn up to stay warm or some shit. <laughs> so it's all bullshit. The less, the less you have, the less you have to lose. The more you have, the more you have to lose. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rough doth corrupt, where thieves break in and steal. Lay out for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rough doth corrupt. Where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart also be. And here's the here's the, here's the last point. Right? The light of the body is the eye. If thine eye also if thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So you're gonna be focused on this truth, man. Remembering at all times everything that you have out here is gonna be burnt up, man. That's it. That's the video. With that, I'm going to say, oh, praise unto you, Abashim, Hashem, Abashim, Koha, HaKodash. Double honors unto the apostles of great millstone. And honors your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.